welcome students in the previous lecture we have learned about front and top of this particular object in first angle of projection so in this lecture we will draw front and top on the grid sheet so let us uh, start with its front view first and we know in the front view we have to represent uh, this cylinder as a rectangle of length 72 mm which is equal to its diameter and height equal to its height which is 52 we have drawn a reference line and we have labeled that reference line as capital x capital y and above space we have labeled as vp and below space is hp in gothic style because we are drawing in first angle of projection and uh, in this case uh, we have to draw front view above the reference line so from ref reference line leave some gap so i have left around two rows gap then i will construct the front view of this cylinder first which will be a rectangle of 72 by 52 So I have left two row gap, and uh, I have aligned my scale with this row, and I will draw a thick line of seventy-two millimeters. Then after that, we have to draw this height, which will be of how much? Fifty-two millimeters. Then other side as well. Measure fifty-two millimeters. Draw a vertical line. then we will connect these two points to get that face now after this we will draw these two faces and in the lecture we have concluded that in order to draw these two faces from center we will draw 75 mm length on both sides because total length is 150 so let us first locate uh, its center line so for center line what we need to do uh, we have to Mark a distance at thirty six. Mark a point at thirty six. Then uh, over here again, mark a point at thirty six. Then align your scale with respect to those points, and draw a center line, chain thin. Okay. After this, we will draw this edge, and uh, for that, what we will do? from center we will locate 75 on both sides so from center from this point means from this point total will be 75 so 75 will be up to this point similarly on other side of the center line so 75 3 4 5 6 7 so 75 we'll draw another line and the height is 22 mm So let us draw that height over here. Twenty-two millimeters. Similarly, on other side, twenty-two millimeters. Then from that point, sketch a horizontal line up to this cylinder. This we have concluded in the lecture that. Uh, when we will start the front view we cannot draw this length because it is not given to us from top view we will get its length so for time being we will draw this length up to this point similarly on other side so after this we will locate these two hidden faces its length is 30 so from this end measure 30 mark a point and from that point draw a dash medium line then from this end measure 30 mark a point and from that point draw a vertical dash medium line now we will represent its hole the diameter of that hole is 48 and its depth is 24 so from center line we will measure 24 on both sides now measure that distance again at the bottom somewhere over here so that we should be able to draw vertical line carefully 24 so 24 then line your scale with the respect to these two points and from top up to how much 24 is the depth 
so 24 will be here up to this point we will dot dash medium lines similarly align with respect to these two points and from top depth will be 24 that will be up to this point dot dash medium line then we will connect these two points with the dash medium line which will be the base of the hole so we have represented that blind hole also now the front view is ready but this part we will complete only after drawing the top view because we don't have this length in the front so leave here only now from all the points of the front view take projections in downward direction carefully these projection lines must be continuous in parallel to each other and perpendicular to the reference line so from this hidden line as well take projection line carefully then from the center line also take the projection line and from this hidden line take another projection line draw it carefully from this point also again draw a projection line then from this hidden line draw a projection line then from this point so these must be parallel thin and perpendicular to reference line now over here you can see object is symmetric about horizontal center line so we should first draw horizontal center line for that we have to see how much is the total width of the object total width is 72 half of 72 is 36 36 plus 10 mm gap between object and reference 46 so minimum we need 46 mm so i'm leaving around 60 millimeters because i have space and uh, after that i will draw a center line it should be chain thin so now we will construct the faces which will be visible from top and from top first of all we will locate this circular face you can see we have drawn the horizontal center line and we have taken projector from this center line so these two are intersecting here that is the center of that circular face so let us open compass to radius 36 for the bigger circle place your compass at this center and draw that circle carefully you can repeat few times to make the circle dark it must be thick after that we will draw second circle radius equal to 24 from same center Okay, so we are ready with that circular face. Now we have to locate this face. How to locate this face? Let us locate uh, this point. And uh, we know uh, this point uh, is at 75 mm from center. So from center 75 will be up to this projector. So from that point, we have to measure 9 mm and so not 9, uh, 24 because total is 48. So from center 24. So from center 24. So from center line measure 24. It will be here. Similarly on other side also. 24. So we have marked two points from center 24 this side, from center 24 this side. Then from that point we will first sketch a horizontal line so that it should intersect uh, circle. 
similarly from that point horizontal line so that it should intersect circle so we have represented these two edges now uh, this length is how much 48 minus 18 30 divided by 2 so this is 15 15 so from this point measure 15 on this side and 15 on other side then up to this projector we will draw horizontal lines we know that face is of 30 so up to this projector we will draw horizontal lines then from this point as well up to that projector horizontal line then we will join these two points so you see we have located this face we have drawn that face also now let us draw other face in similar manner that means from this center line what we will do 24 on both sides mark a point from those points draw horizontal lines carefully so that it should intersect in a circle from this point as well then from this point we will sketch a length of 15 height width of 15 then from this point again width of 15 then up to this projector we will draw horizontal lines from these two points then we will connect these two so we are ready with this face as well now we will complete the front view how to complete the front view from these points these two points align your scale carefully and uh, if you align these two points then you will find that your scale is automatically in vertical position take projectors in our direction thin projector similarly align with these two points if you will do this your scale automatically will be in vertical direction now from this point continuous thin line then what we will do we will erase this part then from here as well erase it carefully then we will extend these two lines horizontal lines up to these projectors let me correct a bit then we will make this portion of projector thick similarly on other side also so you see now we are ready with the front view also now after this we should place dimensions so before that we should erase these extra projectors which are outside the top view and erase the projectors which are within the top view do this step carefully so that object lines should not erase okay so let us place its length first how much is the length length is 50 150 sorry 1 millimeter gap continuous thin line so over here 1 millimeter gap continuous thin line then we will place length over here so i don't have enough space uh, in the video to show this length because there is a screen limit at this height so you can see it is quite close for me so but you will have space and you can place it at 10 millimeters from this diameter fine then we will place its width dimension total width is how much 48 that we can place here then we should place this width it is how much it is 18 
so 10 millimeters gap draw dimension line add close field arrowheads on both sides so in gothic style we will mention it 18 now after that uh, these diameters because over here I don't have space at the top we can place it easily 1 meter gap continuous thin line then over here 1 meter gap continuous thin line so place the bigger diameter first so I have left around 20 millimeters because I want to place the smaller diameter also 1 meter gap continuous thin line 1 meter gap continuous thin line add a dimension line over here so see 10 millimeter gap then add close field arrowheads on both sides of these two dimension lines carefully and add the values 572 and this is 548 now after that uh, we can place this side dimension 1 meter gap continuous thin line over here 1 meter gap continuous thin line then add a dimension line this side so we can show this as how much it is 52 so in gothic style we will write 52 then we can place 20 mm height this side continuous thin line 1 meter gap continuous thin line 1 meter gap over here you can add a dimension line close field arrowheads and we will write 22 then we should place the depth of this hole so that, that we can place here 1 meter gap continuous thin line then add a dimension line here then we can place this dimension as how much depth 24 mentioned in the problem so we have placed all the height dimensions and uh, I can show you uh, 72 also over here so see we have placed 72 at the top and uh, we should place now 30 mm also this length 1 meter gap continuous thin line then over here 1 meter gap continuous thin line add a dimension line here so we can show that this is 30 add dimension line close filler words so this is 30 so same we can place on other side also but I have placed 24 millimeter length that you can place here 1 meter gap continuous thin line dimension line over here so over here we can place 30 so how to place dimensions it is up to you whatever space is available on your grid sheet so best uh, uh, way is that if you have sufficient space at the bottom place all the length dimensions at the bottom like uh, we can extend this further so over here we will place 150 we can accommodate both length dimensions of 30 over here but uh, I have the space but I uh, am not able to show that uh, because of the limited screen of the video so this is how you can place these dimensions I hope this answer is clear to you thank you very much